Well, right now we can see a very large Israeli police and military presence uh, in this area. We're just north of Halhul. It's a short drive uh, from the junction where it's believed the three Israeli teenagers were kidnapped at 10.30 on the 12th of June. At this moment, the Israeli security cabinet is meeting in an emergency session. We've already heard from one uh, senior Israeli official, Danny Danon, the deputy defense minister, who says that we will eradicate Hamas. Uh, we will not stop until Hamas is completely destroyed. So I think that gives you something of a preview of what sort of action the Israeli uh, military is going to take in reaction uh, to the news of the death of these three boys. The Israeli government pointing the finger of blame for these kidnappings at Hamas, but had they provided any proof, any evidence to support that claim? Well, they mentioned on Friday evening two individuals, Marwan Qawasme and Amar Abay Ayish, uh, two residents of Hebron who have not been seen since the day before those uh, three Israeli teenagers went missing. These are two individuals who have a long history of affiliation uh, with Hamas. Yesterday, I spoke to Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, who reiterated his belief that Hamas is indeed behind uh, this kidnapping. Hamas has never officially uh, claimed responsibility uh, for the kidnapping. They did praise it in the immediate aftermath uh, in, uh, I think it was the 13th of June. So uh, certainly as far as Israeli officials are concerned, there is no doubt about who is behind this incident. Yeah, and Ben, before I let you go, just give our viewers some, some context and explain to them just how much this disappearance of these boys had really united the country and how everyone, uh, to a large extent, everyone had been hoping and praying for their safe return. Well, certainly, the, the Israel has been riveted by this story since uh, it first happened, and uh, there has been around-the-clock coverage of the Israeli operations throughout the West Bank, uh, searching for these three uh, teenagers. Uh, we've seen a large, for instance, demonstration in Rabin Square in Tel Aviv uh, last night, where tens of thousands of Israelis came out to uh, support the families of these three kidnapped boys.